I went to my dad's house for the weekend and he said, you should pick some cherries. So I go to pick cherries and I'm there for an hour and then I have 28 pounds of cherries. What do you do when you have 28 pounds of cherries? Well, the first thing I did was preserve them. Let's spend time with Marco, but the food is the star, so it's probably worth sharing. Hello, I'm Marco and welcome to my home kitchen. Today I want to show you how to make cocktail cherries. These are preserved in simple syrup so that they are good all year round. They are amazing. You can put them on ice cream, you can put them in drinks, you can use them to make dessert. This is a non-alcoholic recipe, so they are kid-friendly. And you need to make this. They're uh, incredibly delicious. One of the annoying parts about cherries is that you have to pit them. I got this pitting machine because I have 28 pounds of cherries to deal with. If you frequently buy fresh cherries and you use them for, say, making a pie, getting something like this is super handy and super useful. I'm going to show you how to use it. Load up a bunch of cherries. As you punch down, it's going to pop the uh, cherry pit out and it gets collected in this little bin. The cherries come out in really good condition. They're um, completely whole and undamaged and uh, beautiful for baking. This is like infinitely easier than doing these one at a time with a knife or with one of those like hole punch things. I'm gonna be doing this until the pandemic is over. Like for real over. The recipe here is really easy because you're doing equal weights of water, sugar, and cherries. First step here is to make a simple syrup with the water and sugar. Into a small pan goes 250 grams of water, 250 grams of sugar. Don't make a mess like I did. All you're doing here is trying to dissolve the sugar in the water. So stir it a couple of times, bring it to a boil, take it off the heat, and then let it cool to room temperature. You're not cooking this, you're not making a caramel, it's just dissolving. Mine is brown because I'm using organic sugar. All I need to do now is put everything in the jar. I'm using this tall jar just because I think it looks pretty. So I've got a funnel here and I'm going to fill it entirely with cherries. So that's filled to the top. I'm going to add some homemade vanilla extract. You could also use almond extract, cinnamon, orange peel, whole star anise, anything that you want to flavor this with. This is a 500 milliliter jar. I'm adding about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then take your simple syrup and you're going to pour this in until it covers the cherries all the way to the top. I'm gonna throw this gasket on the lid. Clip this in place and give it a quick shake. You can see it's already such a beautiful color and you don't need any of the chemical dyes that are used when you're buying store-bought maraschino cherries. From here, you can put this in the fridge. You'll wanna leave them for a couple of days for the sugar to really cure into the cherries. And then you can eat them straight out of the jar over the next six months. If you wanted to make these more cocktail oriented, you could also replace half the liquid with a cherry liqueur, uh, bourbon, vodka, uh, whatever you think is going to go well with your cherries. Let me try one. And I just fish one of these out. They've only been in there for like two minutes and they're already so good from the vanilla. And these are gonna taste even better as more time passes. I just made this for the video, but now I'm gonna go make like five more jars of this because these are so good. And I have so many cherries and this is gonna make a beautiful gift for all of my friends. If you have too many cherries, even if you don't have enough cherries, you should make this. It's super tasty and it's going to give you that like joy of summer all year round. It's so good. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. So it's probably worth sharing.